Good morning, children. How are you? Cotton didn't make it. Bless Cotton. He just wasn't meant to be, was he? Um, slightly special. And if you read the comments from yesterday, everyone was saying the two bigger ones have taken on the nutrients in the womb um, and then just left him slightly malnourished. The tank is slowly filling up. And when I say filling up, I mean it's like down there. So we had a really interesting conversation the other day um, with a man called Graham who came and he was saying the government are wanting rainwater taken out of slurry but you can't spread it without the rainwater that's the bit that they don't seem to grasp um they're wanting everything through like dribble bars or like a trailing shoe like you could not get the shit physically through those things to spread properly without the rainwater that we put in it so i i don't really yeah i, I understand why they're wanting this and why they think it's the right thing to do but in practical terms it's not gonna work like we know of people when we've been talking about um towers so you have your 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 poop should we say tower um and then obviously no rainwater in because it's covered so then you're gonna have to have a second like collection tank somehow that's diverted into the tower so that it can actually be mixed and yeah it just yeah just yeah it just doesn't really the practicalities of what they're wanting don't really stack up and obviously we are looking very seriously at all this right now and um, because we don't really know what we're going to be doing yet we've not decided tower and um, i don't really think we're going to go down the lagoon route even though that would, be, would probably be the cheapest because everything else in the yard is like 20 30 proof roy keeps calling it like all of the silage pits are roofed over you know there's concrete everywhere there's catchment pits there's all this kind of stuff um if we just put a lagoon in the ground for the cheap option we're kind of putting ourselves on the back foot because we'd still have to do all these things in the future that makes it compliant so this morning i have made nursery pen bigger nursery pen is now all of that it isn't half as cold as what they said it was going to be but do you know what just in case the beginning of the week's going to be horrendous and snowy frosty i'd rather just keep them in we had one black one white today very cute we had a very miniature set of twins look at the size of them that is cute these guys i'm topping up because i don't think they're getting enough milk Earlier on, this lady was lambing. She lambed one perfectly healthy sheep this morning early on. And then she didn't make any progress whatsoever. So I left her a couple of hours, to be honest. I thought she'd just spit one out. There'd be no issue. She lambed the first time all right. I didn't see the need to intervene. Anyway, um, I had a feel and the second one was coming completely backwards. Um, I'm glad I didn't video it because, to be honest, it was a little bit dramatic. It wasn't going to be making it. Um, it obviously inhaled a little bit of uh, fluid inside. But yeah, it's fine now. So I don't have a picture of this, but I wish I did. When we first came here, pretty much exactly where I'm stood now, wasn't it? There was like a, a, a tin and pole building. I'll try and find a picture to put in. Anyway, these troughs were on the wall, these hay racks. Oh, right, chill out. Excuse me. Rude these were on the wall and they were all the way along and they folded they had chains on and they folded up to the wall flat they were really cool anyway we took them all down because obviously we're not the building down to put a new one up and we kept them all and they've been sat in the barn ever since and did you see the other day i'd said to roy i've got an idea and roy said that just sounds like a really long drawn out idea when you could just use a trough or a hay rack good idea good idea well done charlotte so I've got another one of these to put in. I've basically just tied it with baling twine. It just is a piece of metal like this. Um, and as you can see, it's a trough. The hay rack, sorry. Why do I keep saying trough? Oh, because I've got a lot of troughs to put in. We're running out of treacle. Um, that is it. We're not buying any more. We're going to put hard feed in now. Now, we were talking about prolapses. It came about because there was, is it Kaz Farm Vet Films? Something like that. Um, and it kind of brought it to the forefront on social media, talking about prolapses. Length of tails is what the actual video was about. 
Anywho, we in the past have suffered with quite a lot of prolapses. Um, I have God knows how many spoons. I have harnesses all over the place. And it's something that I always expect because clins are prone as a breed to a prolapse. And then I'd made them have short tails, which was a total mistake. Not having hard feed and having treacle and dry hay has resulted in one prolapse, that's it. And we've got more sheep than ever. So I don't know if there's a correlation, you might know, or someone might know, a vet might know, um, if there's a correlation between um, liquid treacle feed instead of hard feed with all the fiber in, um, or you know grains and stuff, and prolapses. So that's interesting. So Roy is filling up treacle probably for one of the final times. Um, I have some troughs, wooden ones that uh, me and my dad actually made. Uh, there's just no need to be going out buying them, I don't think. I have a couple of decent ones here and there's a couple over there that I'll put in. Um, and I think everyone's going to go on to hard feed now. So I am on molasses watch because the other day we walked away from it and um, yeah, bit of a mess. So everything by this is like by the weight so it's sold by the weight it's measured by the weight it's also dispensed by the weight um when this is full up here it flies out like literally like it's really fast but like as you can see because there's not a lot in it's really slow <laughs> to be fair i should probably just tip it up i bet there's more weight in it than what i think though if i'm just gonna go and try and hoy it up stronger than I think, Anna. So I also need to sharpen the shear grab. Royce just said it's not, it's kind of dragging out instead of cutting out, but it's been a while since we sharpened it, to be honest. I should have pretended that I lift them all the time, but let's be honest, <laughs> they're really heavy. <laughs> I know my limitations. So these fit bally feeders have been, man out girls, let me have a look. I'm not even gonna move. Get your heads out, please. They've been worth the weight in gold, they really have. Absolutely disgusting. But they were 70 quid for three out of Kendall auction, second hand. And I think they're normally about 80 quid for one. If you're gonna buy them new, there is nothing wrong with them. Absolutely nothing wrong. Um, they have absolutely been worth the weight in gold. The only thing I don't like around yeah. them is the, the pan shin around them. This tractor is the ultimate ultimate designer tractor. I don't know anyone else with a kangaroo skin on the seat. Now that's cool. Maybe has a few fleas, but you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. They're soft. They're very soft. Uh-huh, 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 uh-huh. Last time that I see you It can't be true I've run out of battery, I'm really cross. So I'm just charging the battery. I'm just gonna sweep the workshop because I'm gonna make a sheep trough in a minute and um, just to go with the two that I've already got because as I said this morning, the girls um, are going off treacle and onto hard feed. So I'm just gonna go and get two lengths of um, Yorkshire ball. Having a door isn't getting old, by the way, just so you know. Obviously had to be something in the way. <laughs> this is the pile. Like I could have struggled and carried them, but meh. when one has a Merlot. <laughs> Please take that as the joke it was intended. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it again at some point just to show you that it can turn around in that space. Okay, 
so I want two pieces of rather equal sized board. To be fair, I think they're all actually the same size, aren't they? Let's be honest. The spiders under there, there's gonna be hell on. Never seen spiders quite so big, but hiding in wood. The legs are like this. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Don't see any, you're all right. Hold on while I shut my door. So I very simply have some pieces of wood that are that shaped with that cut out of them. And these are going to stand as the legs, like so. And then those are just going to slot in. And these will be the ends to stop the feed falling out. So simple, so cheap. No money spent. Well, just leftover Yorkshire board and a bit of wood. Just have to go and find the other battery now. So it's quite long and it'll end up, if I don't put some screws in the middle here, it'll end up gaping. But last time I made one of these, I made an absolute balls up and the screws ended up poking up and I had to grind them off. It was just to carry on because I'm just rubbish and I just, you know, have a bash, as you know. Um, so I've just got to have to be quite um, careful with which direction I point them in. Liability I am, an absolute liability. So there is my very finished trough. It's nothing special, it's cheap as chips. Anybody could make one. So now this battery's done, I'll just finish off that tiny last bit on the um, shear grab, and then hopefully that will cut the silage a little bit easier. Normally people's silage is fair wet. If you're a dairy farmer or anyone who's looking for quality of silage, it's normally fair wet. As it's for beef cows, it's really dry, and it just means that the it blunts the teeth really easily. Um, like I've just spoken, Alicia's here now, and um, we asked uh, a mate of our, as Richard, and we said, have you ever sharpened your shear grab? And they said, no, we've never had to sharpen it. Um, so yeah, it must just be dry silage that does it. So I'll have that one. Oh, put it in that one. She says, Don't forget my fancy spectacles. Oh, mm-hmm. This is the secretary look you were waiting for. I mean, seriously, like if this isn't an absolute turn on, I do not know what is. I mean, wow, wow. I wouldn't mind the Roy's prescription ones because I couldn't find the others. They're actually down there now, Roy found them, but I can't see a thing. It's probably safer to get sparks in my eyes than it is to wear these. YouTube though, innit? I'll get told off. Right, kitty hoes, I'm going inside. I'll make this video, I'll make some tea, and then I'll go and feed the sheep. So, I hope you had a good day. It's miserable out there. It's not as cold as what I thought it was gonna be. To be fair, the sheep could have actually been out, um, but I don't know what this next few days is gonna be like. So yeah, I'll speak tomorrow.